Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to talk about missile override and dogfight mode. Alright, so first thing we want to talk about is getting that button press set up. This confuses a lot of people, I've noticed. So, if you actually look down here, here's the button. We have dogfight, uh, center, and then if that button's pushed down, you can't see it, I guess. On the other side, it might say missile override, but... Anyway, that's a three position switch. So if it's in dogfight mode, it's going to override everything else that's going on, like your nav or your air to ground, and it's going to put the aircraft into dogfight mode. If that switch is centered, it's going to be in, go back to whatever you had selected. So if you have air to ground selected, and we go dogfight mode, we've overridden anything in our dogfight, and if we go back, put that switch back in the center position, it'll go back to air to ground, or even if you had air to air here selected. It'll go back to that as well. So, um, to set those up, let's check our controls. So this gets a little confusing. DCS has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. What is this? Like ten possible switches that you can set for this one three-position switch. Um, the way I have it set up, I'm using just two buttons to control it. So I have missile override slash center bound. And then I have dogfight slash center bound. So the way this works is if I push the dogfight switch, it'll go into dogfight mode. And if I push it again, it goes back into center. And then same with missile override. If I push that button once, it'll go into missile override. And if I push it again, it'll go back to center. Um, I've just got some limited buttons on my the stick I have right now. And I just wanted it set up so it can just use two buttons to control the whole thing. That works for me. However, you can set this up however you want. All right, so let's talk about missile override and how to set that up. So I'm going to put the aircraft in missile override mode. And the way it works uh, for both of these modes, dogfight and missile override, is it's going to save what you had going um, whenever you were last in that mode. So when you come back to it, it'll, it'll, be, it'll be right there. So what I want to do is go ahead and set this up so that if I need it, you know, if I need to go into missile override, obviously I've got got a problem right I've got something something close to me something coming in um, so I wanted to like be ready to go so I'm gonna go ahead and set this to range wall or sorry track wall scan and I like this uh, 30 degrees off either side so 60 degrees total sweep because it gives me a faster acquisition and lockup usually if you've got you know uh, a threat and you're using missile override you've probably got an RWR indication as to where he is so you don't need necessarily the full scan um, if you're kind of operating defensively and and using this mode in that way other thing I want to do is go ahead and set this page so this defaults to the you know the um, see we got the 120 here and we can choose slave or bore defaults to this uh, stores management page let's go ahead and make that the um, HSD page so that, and I'll, I'll go with 60 mile range, and 40 over here is good for the uh, radar. The, the F-16 radar, it doesn't do so well past 40, so I like to just default at 40 miles, and um, and that 30 degree sweep there. And then I'll set 60 miles into the uh, HSD. So that way when I come back to this mode, I'm already there. It's all set up. So see, I'm cycling between, I guess this is nav, or even if I go in air to ground mode, and then I press uh, missile override, boom. Um, with one press of a button, I'm configured for, you know, the setup that I want um, for this mode, which is, uh, you know, the radar settings like I described, and then I got this HSD right here so I can see. Um, you know, if you're, if you're doing air to ground work, you probably don't have this, uh, situational display up and then it's nice to be able to come to that with just one one button press. Alright, so let's talk about dogfight mode. We'll go ahead and turn on the helmet mounted system. Okay, so I brought up dogfight mode. This is the default. Um, this symbology here is HUD scan, but you'll see it comes up as default in no rad, which means the radar is in standby, it's not operating. Uh, I think the reason for that is simply that um, for emissions control you don't want to necessarily alert a band you want to be able to bring this mode up without alerting someone immediately that like hey there's an f-16 right here and it's possibly locking me up or whatever so 
it's going to default to the no rad. Um, the TMS switch is going to control these modes. So if you press TMS up once, now you're going to turn the radar on and it's going to go into boresight mode. And basically between these two crosses and where this line is, in boresight mode the radar's on. You can see it. I'm not sure if that's how accurate that little... <laughs> it's kind of like going freaking out down here. But this thing's basically just scanning like a laser like right here in this circle. Um, kind of between this line. So uh, this mode's really good. You know, if you can see something and you can just put it right here, it's going to lock that up immediately. The other thing I like about this mode, and this is what I use most of the time, is that the helmet mounted system works automatically with it. So if I bring my helmet mounted uh, display, I have it on and I bring it outside of the HUD, the radar is now scanning in this oval. So anywhere I look, the radar is going to be scanning. So I can basically point it with my helmet. Um, so that's helpful. That's, that's what I like to use the most. And then it defaults in the AIM 9X, but you can quickly switch. You see this cross here, the symbology. If I press and hold the missile step button, so missile step long press, you can quickly bring up the uh, AIM 120. So, the, uh, and by the way, this little symbology with the diamond here in the cross, that's gonna be the AIM 120, and that's your nine right there. Um, so the way I like to use this mode, you know, if there's a, a bandit visually that you can see, you know, and you don't have them locked up, I kind of reflexively have like uh, this all figured out. So you just go dogfight mode, TMS up, it'll lock whatever you're looking at. You'll hear the jet say lock, and then you can press missile uncage, and that's going to bring that aim nine right onto him. Um, and when you do that, by the way, when you lock something, you're going to get that, that range indication instantly. And then you can decide, hey, is this, is this target too far away for a 9? And if it is, you can just long step, activate your 120s, and you're already locked. Just fire, and you're going to launch a 120 at them. Um, so anyway, I'll demonstrate that a little bit later. Um, what else? So we've got TMS up for Boresight, TMS right. It's going to give you a HUD scan mode. So when this symbology is present and the no rad is absent, um, the HUD's going to be scanning. I mean, the radar's going to be scanning kind of anything that's in your HUD. It's going to be like a broader scan. You can see it down here. It's sweeping left and right about 30 degrees on either side. It's, it's looking basically whatever's in your HUD. And then if you go TMS down twice, you'll bring it into vertical scan, which the radar is going to be scanning kind of, if you can think, along this line up. Um, so it's looking up, you know, pretty good distance, probably 30 degrees or so. So anything up up and down right here, it's it's looking for. So this could be helpful if you're turning on a bandit and for whatever reason you can't get your, you haven't turned on your helmet mounted sight or something like that, you can't look at them. Um, you could try vertical scan and try to lock them up that way. Uh, another useful tool here, the, uh, okay, let's see. I have the 120 selected here. I'm going to missile uh, step long press to go back to the 9. With the 9X, you can click this right here and bring it into boresight mode. And this is really cool if you want to, uh, if you're not using the radar. If you are using the radar, when it's in slave, the missile seeker is going to slave to whatever the radar locks. So that um, that's preferred. But if you wanted to use this without the radar, you can press TMS down. And of course, you know, it defaults to that no rad. But if you've got the no rad, you can lock someone up just by looking with that IR sensor. And you see this uh, diamond, it represents the AIM-9 infrared sensor. It's just looking wherever I am. The aircraft's radar is not active. So you can see someone um, put this over the target. You'll hear it squeal. Press the missile uncaged button. The AIM-9 will then lock that target. And then you can press the weapon release and shoot a missile at the target without, uh, without alerting them, which is really helpful. Uh, if they, they're not alerted, they can't do any flares or defensive maneuvering. Um, and uh, if the target's not maneuvering, by the way, that AIM-9 has a really long range, um, you know, if he's not trying to get away. Uh, so you can make some, like, really nasty, stealthy, long-range AIM-9 shots um, if you can manage not to alert your target. All right, so with all that out of the way, I hope I didn't miss anything. I'm sure I did, but... Um, I'm going to hit the deck here, get some bandits flying around, and maybe demonstrate some of these modes real quick. All 
All right, so the first mode I'm going to demonstrate here is the um, uh, the nine. 9x ability to like look and shoot here so I got the no red uh, the missile is in the boresight mode and right now I'm cruising along in nav got this mission set up so as I pass by this waypoint uh, bandit's gonna come out and we'll just kind of demonstrate real quick how to look and shoot all right here we go on the RWR dogfight mode I'm looking, using this in the, there he is. All right, missile on cage. Did you hear that tone change? I just hit missile on cage and then press the missile fire button. There we go. Oh, all right, first shot got him right there, so. That was a pretty long distance shot, pretty high off core sight. And uh, the AIM 9X just did its thing right there. All right, so the next demo here is going to be the um, helmet-mounted system with the radar scan, so the boresight mode in in dogfight mode, right? And then remember, we can missile long press to switch missiles once the target's locked up. So should be seeing something here in a second. Oh, an RWR. So dogfight mode, TMS up. Now I got my radar scanning and looking this way. There he is. All right. So I can uncage right there. And now the nine's working. And then if I press and hold missile step, now the 120 selected. And I'm just gonna shoot a 120 at this guy. Got him. All right, so the button button pressing combination there was dogfight mode, TMS up to give me bore sight. I looked around, found my target, locked him up, saw that he was a little bit out of range of the 9X. Um, if you were looking, you could see that he was in the, he was in the max launch range, but he was um, not in the maneuvering range to kill that missile. And then I uh, did missile step long, switched to the 120, and then uh, weapon release to fire the 120 at him. Alright, next up will be a little bit more of a longer range target with some Fox 3s. Alright, so I got my next threat. is going to be some Fox 3s and I went ahead and put it in air, air to ground mode just to demonstrate how nice it is to go ahead and have your missile override all set up how you want it. So we got a 29 out here, maybe a problem. Gonna go ahead and throw it into missile override. Oh, there we go, you can see right here. There's my threat, so I'm gonna start climbing. Pull afterburner, get some altitude. Go ahead and start locking this guy up. Now right, he's climbing too. TMS right twice there to lock him up still in the outside the max range of the missile. And he sees me. He's already reached 20,000, 21,000 feet. He's got the same idea. That new AI definitely uh, is definitely a lot more aggressive. It kind of knows what to do. Alright. Kind of zero G down here. Cracked Mach 1. Gotta love the F-16. And that's one missile. Crank. Always crank after your shot. There's no reason to sit there and bear down on him, giving his missile a better shot at reaching you while I'm still supporting mine. I'm gonna look for that brick. Start flashing. Alright, there it goes. Now that missile's gone. What's the word? Pitbull. Yeah, he's already defensive. You can see he's turning around. So I'm going to continue to press. Yep. And 
and splash. All right, well, I hope that was helpful, give you a little bit of insight into how these modes work, and um, you know, just a couple tips on setup. Thanks a lot for watching. Catch you guys later.